Ignatius of Loyola was a soldier. His leg was badly broken. Three times he had it set, even though he suffered great pain, because he wanted to march and dance again. As he lay ill in a castle, he picked up a book of the lives of the saints and started to read. He became interested and wondered if he could do what the saints had done. When he left the castle, he went to confession. For almost a year, he lived in a cave on the banks of a river. Here, he punished himself for his sins. He fasted, prayed, and took care of the poor and sick. In Barcelona, Spain, he entered school, a man 35 years old. At Paris, he formed, with his first five followers, the Society of Jesus. This was the beginning of the Jesuit order. Schools, preaching, retreats, missionary work, any work has to be their work, especially at a time when many are, were fallen away from the church. Even in America, his men began teaching the faith to the Indians. They would do whatever his Holy Father wished. For 15 years, Ignatius directed the work of his society. Almost totally blind, he died at the age of 65 on July 31st, 1556. St. Ignatius Loyola's feast day is July 31st. He is a patron saint of retreats. O oh God, you raised up St. Ignatius in your church to inspire men to work for your greater glory. Grant that we may labor on earth with his help and after his example, and merit to be crowned with him in heaven.